July 13th, St. Eugenius, Bishop of Carthage. The Roman provinces in Africa were for a long time one of the richest and most notable portions of the empire. But when its rulers, to preserve Italy, abandoned its extremities, Genseric, king of the Vandals, in the year 428, passed into this country and in a short time became master of those fertile provinces. The Vandals, who were mostly Christians, but infected with the Arian heresy, laid the country waste, plundered churches and monasteries, burned alive bishops and tortured others to extort from them the treasures of their churches they raised public buildings at carthage and banished the bishop of that city but for a brief period the episcopal see of carthage had remained vacant for fifty years when in the year 481 hunric who had succeeded genseric permitted the catholics on certain conditions to choose one who should fill it the people greatly supported eugenius a citizen of the place eminent for his learning zeal piety prudence and he became so dear to his flock that every one of them would have thought it happiness to lay down his life for him the influence of saint eugenius was so strong that the king became alarmed and he ordered the bishop not to occupy his episcopal chair or to preach in public or to allow any vandals into his churches saint eugenius replied that the law of god commanded him not to shut the door of a church against any who wished to enter it hunric then posted guards at the doors of the catholic churches who when they saw any man or woman going in recognizable as a vandal by his clothes and long hair they used forked sticks which twisted into their hair and violently drawn back tore off hair and skin together some thus lost their eyes others died and women who had been scalped in this way were led through the streets as a warning to others a fierce persecution was thus initiated our saint was spared in the first storm and he was soon informed by hunric that the orthodox catholics were to meet in a conference with the arian bishops at carthage the conference when it was assembled in the year 484 to discuss the divisions between catholics and arians was a farce hunric took the opportunity of so many bishops assembled in carthage to plunder them and then deport them to forced labor st eugenius after having long encouraged others to the conflict was himself suddenly carried into exile without being allowed to take leave of his friends he found means however to write a letter to his flock which st gregory of tours is preserved in it he says i with tears beg exhort and implore you by the dreadful day of the judgment and the coming of christ that you hold fast to the catholic faith keep the grace of baptism and the anointing of chrism let no man born again of water return to the water this he mentions because the arians in africa rebaptized those that came over to their sect st eugenius protests to his flock that if they remain constant no distance nor death could separate him from them in spirit and then on the last day this letter will be read before the tribunal of christ for the condemnation of the apostates if i return to carthage he says i shall see you in this life if not i shall meet you in the other pray for us and fast fasting and alms deeds have never failed to move god to mercy above all things remember that we are not to fear those who can only kill the body st eugenius was carried off into the desert country in the province of tripoli and committed to the care of anthony an arian bishop who treated him with barbarity at this time many catholics who apostized from fear of martyrdom became cruel persecutors of their faithful brothers this is the famous case of elpidophorus who was appointed judge at carthage one day the deacon maritia who had baptized him when he was a child was brought before him with him Meritia brought the white garment which he had been clothed in as a child when he was baptized showing it to the whole assembly he said to the apostate judge this garment will accuse you when god the judge shall appear in majesty on the last day it will bear testimony against you this garment that covered you when pure and unspotted you left the waters of baptism will increase your torment when you will be engulfed by the eternal flames st maritia is mentioned together with st eugenius in the roman martyrology on july thirteenth king hundrick then died in the year four eighty four and his nephew godamund who succeeded him recalled st eugenius to carthage in the year four eighty eight some years later the orthodox churches were reopened and the other clergy were allowed to return but the the king after was again a persecutor he eventually condemned eugenius to death he was reprieved from death however rebanished he died in exile in the year 505 near albi 
St. Eugenius was the bishop over all these martyrs, and, as such, became the symbol of all of them. He was set by the church as a precious stone in a crown made of the gold of many martyrs. He inspired and comforted them. He died far away from his country in exile after great suffering. Here you have the figure of St. Eugenius, the splendorous head of his flock, which he led to heaven like the good shepherd that he was. Let us ask him to give us good shepherds, and also to help us, with or without good shepherds, to be as faithful as we should to the Holy Roman Catholic and Apostolic Church, our divine and most beloved mother.